Hello and welcome back to Garen Weaver vs. Pokemon Platinum. I am in Orberg City, town, village, mining museum. Coal mining and you. Um, right, there is one thing I want to do. I want to just pop up here and make a friend. And I've realized I'm not sure I can make said friend in the morning. I better check. I'm going to be honest, Machop is not the friend I wanted to make. Uh, and I'm going to leave that to give you guys more time to suggest nicknames because I record these a couple of episodes at a time. What? what, what a magma? On route to a. Oh, who could have. I, this is so unprecedented. This looks really weird in Gen 4 with the sprite. But, ah, oh, who could possibly have seen this coming? It must be because... Oh, cause I've, I think I've heard there are like Ponyta in the area. So it must be a suitable climate for, for fire types. I bet that's what it is. Don't you dare knock out Tectonic, otherwise I'm just going to fine. Actually, that's made me a little bit concerned. I mean, I suppose I'm double its level, but that is quite weak. Hmm. Maybe I've got decent special defense. I don't know. I'm going to have to heal. No, screw it. I'm just going to stick with it. Yep, I'm going to have to heal. It's hoping not to, but... Missing that attack means I do have to... Stop leering at me. Why does everyone leer at Tectonic? It's because of his weird face. Don't knock it out. Don't knock it out. Good. Nice. All right. Catch it. Catch it in the special ball. Catch it, 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 catch it. Okay. Fantastic. So I mentioned at the beginning of the game, uh the beginning of the playthrough, that I have slightly tweaked the appearance of a few Pokemon so that I can get late game Pokemon earlier for my team. Magmar is one of those Pokemon. When it breathes deeply, heat waves form around its body, making it hard to see clearly. Interesting. So, this female magma, and it did have to be a female one for this particular name idea that I have. You see, the name I have for this one is a reference to um, a D&D character that I've played, who is a, who was a fire elemental well, fighter, but she was called... Fumi, which is French for smoke, uh, I believe. And also confirmation that there are no accented letters on the uh, the English uh, naming thing. It, there was questions over whether there were. Which is a shame, because Fumi has the accent on the first E. But Fumi. Let's check out Fumi then. Flame body. Okay. Decent special attack. Actually, pretty good special attack, considering his is lower. Like, his his attack is 21, and he's hard, uh, she's half the level and has almost as high, so that's pretty good. Uh, although, that, maybe that is because she is, like, intended as a, a late-game Pokémon. But essentially, what I've done here is I have tweaked the emulator, because I've al already tweaked the emulator. Sorry, I'm just cleaning my glass while I'm talking. Uh, I've tweaked the emulator to allow... Uh, trading and stuff Pokemon to evolve, so I will be able to evolve Magmar. I have tweaked to change the appearance, so Geodude is not on this route, I think it's Geodude that's normally on this route, and I have switched Geodude for Magmar on this route and a couple of other routes. That's why Magmar's here, that's why Geodude is not. Smog, Leer and Ember, alright, what I'm gonna do is just switch those two round and those two round as well. Okay! So now I could go back and do those um, those those uh, trainers that I avoided sneakily and stealthily. You see, the big downside with the game with like time tracking is you can tell immediately at what absurd times I do my recording. <laughs> let's just ignore that, um, and let's ignore the fact that it's jumped from morning to night. It's completely irrelevant. Let's just say hello to people. Hello. I found a traveller while looking for some Pokemon in the middle of the night. That was funny, I found a trainer while looking for... Alright, fair enough, trainers in the middle of the night. Which is creepier than looking for Pokemon, fair. Anyway, Fumi! 
Weird thing you do with your mouth, Fumi, but not gonna judge. Let's train Fumi up a bit. Fumi does not need a whole lot of training, because it turns out she is actually quite powerful. Admittedly, of fighting like lower level Pokemon, but still. Not bad, Fumi. Not bad at all. Huh? You're finished so soon? I walk through tall grass until I find the Pokemon I want. Yeah, that's what everybody does. Unless they get really lucky. Hello. I got a nifty keen gym badge from the gym leader in Orberg City. I'm not sure it's really a city, but okay. I'm Madeline. Go Psyduck. Okay, this will be a bit harder. I don't think Psyduck has any... yeah. Okay, yep. As I only have Ember as a damaging move and Fire has just been weakened, I'm probably going to have to switch. Not too bad. Oh, I lost. La 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 la. Not listening. I'm collecting lots of gym badges. They're so sparkly and pretty. Uh-huh. And there is loot. A repel. So I still have a load of... Oh, there's a loot there as well. I didn't know that was there. Anyway, Fumi levels up. X defend. Just sell that. Um... Yes, keep the nicknames coming. Uh, still got plenty of things I can catch. I've never, apart from my shings, our bond is too strong. Like seriously, super glue. You shouldn't let teenagers... Uh, you're not a teenager. I'm not a teenager. What, how, how old am I? Yeah, still having two Pokemon is, is more than enough to uh, sort of overlevel them. Then again, I don't actually know how strong the gym leader is. I don't back Reggie's after losing, but I promise I'll get tougher. Uh, how do I get that? I've got to go. Did I avoid these as well? Your favorite Pokemon should be placed at the top left of your party list. That way it'll be the first to go out of battle. I mean, that's not, not the smartest way of doing it. What do you mean? Nothing. Don't worry. Each to their own. Not going to judge. Hello. I get my gut up and go for my Pokemon. Here we go, Krakatot Zubat. I'd love it if he sends, like, an Abra and a Bidoof as his two Pokemon. Damn. It's like that, um... Oh, what was it? Was it Dorkly? Who did, like, a series where someone named a Metapod Pikachu because he, he wanted a Pikachu and couldn't catch one? Was that Dorkly who did that? Not a difficult fight, sorry. Keep out of the grass that dodge the eyes of trainers. I always have a tough time choosing. Uh-huh. Oh nice, free Pokeball. Right, and that should me should me it should be me back yet. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'm gonna heal and then head back. You know, I have a habit of always saving in the Pokemon Center. And I think I've literally just realized why. It's because way, way, way back in Pokemon Stadium, if you wanted to use like if you wanted to use your, your team Pokemon in Stadium, you had to have saved in a Pokemon Center. Like you couldn't just do it out on a route. Oh, sorry, there's an Abra. I'm just going to have to try and catch it. I'm just going to throw a ball at it straight away. Because they use Teleport, I think, immediately. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Not even slightly. Ah, oh, well. Stop looking so smug, Fumi. Hello. We trainers will accept challenges anywhere. It's what we do. Okay. You, you're next. I'm Curtis, by the way. You have a very deep voice. I don't really like Magmar's design. It just, it looks a bit weird. With, like, the massive eyebrow, uh, like, not eyebrows, like forehead and the uh, the weird sort of pouty purse lips is a very odd design. I mean Magby isn't much better. I kind of like Magmorta and that's the main reason I, I chose Magmar for my team because I have never used Magmorta mostly because by the time I get to Pokemon games they've stopped operating the online. Not always but still I don't often trade with people 
I've never had chance to use it, like Magmortar and so on, anything that needs trading to evolve. Nice. Yay, great. Wait, what's Smog? I thought Sm Insufficiently raised. Sorry, I think I'm getting Smog confused with another move. Yes, I am. For some reason, I don't know why, I thought Smog lowered accuracy. But no, that's Smokescreen I was thinking of. So I could have used Smog against uh, that Psyduck. Oh well. Hello. To celebrate me getting through this cave, I'm gonna battle you. Great. I'm a picnicker, which is why I'm in a cave in the 2am. Yeah, it gets really weird when you bring real life times into stuff, doesn't it? Well, damn. I guess losing is actually something to commemorate too. Getting through that cave feels like an adventure. Uh huh. Oh yeah, such an adventure. I think it's probably about time we did some exploring of this town. Just in the middle of the night, let's just go knocking on people's doors. Hello. Hiya, your Pokemon could use some toughening up. Let me beat it with a stick. Uh, I, I, I mean, why not try training in the Orberg mine? Yeah, that's what I said. Uh huh. I always have a rotten time trying to decide which moves my Pokemon should learn. But the uh, ones that do damage get a variety of sort of types. Don't stack your like for ex complete random example, camera up with flamethrower, overheat, earthquake, and magnitude. That would be ridiculous. Definitely, definitely don't do that in um, in Omega Sapphire. Anyway, hello. You remind me so much of the time I got my first Pokemon. That too wore a hat and had blue hair. What? Why are your Pokemon's eyes are twinkling broad oh, it's on fire? That makes me happy. Have this. Okay. Um, th th thank you so much. You know how Pokeballs stay inside their Pokeballs? I try to... Th did I say Pokemon or did I say Pokeballs? I don't know. Whatever. I try to think about what would be the best Pokeballs for them. To stay inside forever. Bikram. The Orberg mine is operated with the utmost care. We avoid causing any damage to the natural habitats of Pokemon, but they can't go more than a day or two without a severe accident. Oh, yes. Such severe accidents. Coal is carried out of Orberg mine on a fully automated system. Machines do all the work automatically. It's so very easy. Too easy. I disapprove. I think they should carry it out on their backs. Maybe force the Pokemon to help. That would be really funny. Natural time capsules buried many, many years ago. That's what fossils are. Well, no, fossils are dead things that died. You have a very grim outlook on life. It's just how things are. Then again, that is what everyone with a grim outlook says. So this is the, uh, the coal museum. Mining must take a strong mind, not just a tough body. Think about it, you're in darkness, digging desperately through rock. I think they're allowed lights. Not anymore, they're not. Okay. It's a little far from here, but there is a city called Eterna City. I've heard a curious person named the Underground Man lives there. With a name like that, he must be an authority on the Underground. Either that or a weirdo. Could be either. Hello! Welcome to the Old Bird Mining Museum. Move along. Okay. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now, right here, in front of this 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 basket of flowers. I do it. On the verge of a breakthrough I am with to achieve extraction from fossils, I want to get the DNA out of them and maybe put some DNA back in, question mark. From fossils I can extract Pokemon, but not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Well, how about that? The Orberg mine extends under the sea floor. I wonder if they'll drown one day. Come, what is wrong with this town? Well, so this is coal. I never expected something this big. And that color, it really is as black as they say. How do you not know what coal is? How do you, how do you get to the age where presumably you have a daughter or can abduct children? Could be either. And are like, hmm, what is coal anyway? Is it real? Is it a myth? No, I bet it comes from the edge of the flat space. 
Well, the Pokemon that carried this must be terribly strong. Categorize samples of coal. Oh, goody. Coal from different regions. Well, this one is Kanto coal, as you can see, it's black. This one is uh, Johto coal, as you can see, it's black. Over here, we have some Hoenn coal, as you can see, it's... Oh, it's black. Oh, who could have seen it? The history of Orberg Mine. You could call it a history of effort and friendship between people and Pokemon, but you'd be lying. The everyday items and tools of past mine workers are displayed. When they die in the mines, we take them here and we just just put all their stuff here. That's Dave's hat, he died yesterday. Badly scarred wooden tools are displayed. They apparently dug out coal using these tools in the olden days, suckers. Different kinds of lamps are displayed. They appear to have worn, been worn on someone's head while underground, to better show them their doom approaching. This is a very grim museum. How coal is made, three. Yeah, start at one then. How coal is made, one. In a time long before history, vegetative matter was swept along by rain and rivers. It came to be buried under the ground. How coal is made, too. The buried plant matter was forced ever deeper under the ground due to tremors and fissures caused by the shifting land masses. How coal is made, three. Deep under the ground, the plant matter was subjected to heavy pressure and the heat of magma. magma. It gradually turned into coal. I mean, that doesn't exp that doesn't explain how coal is made. <laughs> so, how did you come to be here? Well, I was born, um, and then I lived in a different place for a very long time, and then I came here. That's how coal is made. Up ahead, there's a huge mound and the tower is above everything. It divides Sinnoh into two distinct halves. There's our half. And then there's the shit off over there. Jesus. Everyone's proud of the mine. They're digging for coal under the sea as we speak. It's amazing how they do it. You know, there's a whole museum for it. We can't get enough of coal. Can't get enough. Chop, chop, a chop. Chop, chop away on rocks. That's the song I wrote. Do you like it? No. When I run around with my running shoes, aren't I in the center of attention? At least that's what it feels like everyone is looking at me. Like, you're looking- Oh, you stop looking- Please, someone look at me. My anxiety's kicking in. Oh, I'm okay now, then. Rock is a user of rock-type Pokémon. Don't you think rock-type Pokémon are nice? I like how lumpy they are when I lie on them. Why are you lying on rock Pokémon? Because of how lumpy they are. Sure. Rourke is our town's gym leader. He may be young, but he keeps the man running safely and efficiently except all the deaths. Sinnoh now! This is it, the one you've been waiting for. It's time for Sinnoh now, your portal to what's hip and happening in Sinnoh. Here's the first story on the cutting edge of Sinnoh trends. This is Helena bringing you on the spot weather. It's cold. Snow is falling on Snow Point City. It's almost why they named it that, but not quite. I would not like to act my age and try to charm you with my cuteness. Ha <laughs> ha! But it's too cold for me to be frolicking. I'm heading home right after this to curl up with my Clefairy, whether it likes it or not. That's the weather brought to you by Helena. Might have been oversharing a bit there, Helena. I don't think so. TMs, or technical machines for long, are single use only, but HMs, or hidden machines for long, can be used over and over. It's tricky trying to decide which Pokemon should loon, loon what mouths. What? Hmm? I do really like that they fix that. I say fix that, change that in the, uh, the later gens. And they made TMs. Sorry, these are very suspect little little divots in the rock. Yeah, I, I like that they made it so that you can use TMs multiple times. It just makes them so much better, I think. These vents exchange the hot air below with the fresh air outside. Looking down gives me the urge to start yelling into them. Hello! Otherwise, I sort of drop rotten eggs in there. You ever seen or heard about differently colored Pokemon? For instance, a regular Pikachu is a yellow body, correct? Well, the different color Pichu is sort of an orange body. It's almost like they just randomized the color and just said, yeah, fuck it, that'll do. Watch your mouth, child. Here's another story on the cutting edge. Rich boy, tell me about your daddy. Oh, my daddy's a big shot at the TV station, so I get to be on TV. I'll tell you about the nature of Pokemon. A Pokemon with a bashful nature doesn't have any likes or dislikes about Poffins. Oh, I've got Poffins. 
Poffins, they do exactly what Pokeblocks do, except they have a stupid name. Poffins. That's their advert. Feel free to use that uh, Pokemon. I'm not lying. I bought a hundred Poffins and tested it myself because I'm so rich. Also, I like hot milk. So, what? 